This is the EcoFlow Delta 2, a portable power station that retails for about $1,000 for this 1,800 watt AC output and a 1,000 watt hour LFP battery. So EcoFlow sent me this unit with an extra 1,000 watt hour battery that goes for about $800. They have no idea what I'm going to say in this video. And now I know you are curious to find out whether this powerhouse lives up to the high. Stick around because I've put it through its paces and will share my findings in this video. Also, by the end of this video, I'll share how to find it way cheaper right now. It's also time you do and almost about half the price when converted to Naira. And that's if you find this video helpful. And so, without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. Before we get into the nitty gritty here, let's quickly go over what you get out of the boxes. Inside, you'll find the EcoFlow Delta 2 itself along with a few essential accessories. An AC charging cable, a car charging cable, and a DC5521 to DC5525 cable. There's also some paperwork and the user manual. The packaging here is simple yet effective. For the extra battery pack, there is a cable there to connect the main units to the extra battery pack. And it also comes with a compartment at the top. I'll list everything I forgot on the screen so you can see what comes in their boxes. EcoFlow focuses more on the quality of what's inside and I think that's what really matters. For some of you who still need to understand what the EcoFlow Delta 2 is, this isn't just your average power bank. It is a portable power station packing a serious punch. We're talking about a device that can run your fridge during a blackout, power your tools on a job site, or keep your devices charged during a weekend camping trip. It's like having a silent, clean generator that fits in your trunk. Now let's talk about the build quality and design here. The Delta 2 has a solid, durable feel, but surprisingly, it's quite portable. Weighing in at about 27 pounds, that which is roughly 12 kilograms, it's lighter than its predecessor, the original Delta. And the two handles here on the top make it easy for you to lift and move this device. Plus it has this compact form factor of 15 by eight by 11 inches. So it doesn't take up much space in your car or your storage area. Now let's talk numbers. The Delta 2 boasts of a 10, 24 watt hour capacity in terms of the battery, which might not mean a lot to most of you watching this video, but let me put things in perspective. This bad boy can charge your smartphone, an average smartphone, 40 to 50 times, and also it can run a full-size refrigerator for hours. But what really sets this apart is the 1,800 watts AC output at the back. So that means you can run power-hungry devices that use AC power like your microwaves, um, the power tools you have for work, your television, and even small air conditioners. Now, one of the most standout features here is its expandability. So EcoFlow sends me this extra one kilowatt hour battery pack, which doubles the capacity to over two kilowatt hour. And that's some serious power in a portable package. When it comes to the port on this device here, the Delta 2 is like the Swiss army knife of power stations. On the front side, you get this multiple USB ports, which include 200 watts Type-C USB port. You also have four USB Type-A ports, two of fast charging capacity and the regular Type-A ports. The back panel features about four major AC outlets, perfect for powering multiple devices simultaneously. There is also this 12 volt car port and two DC5521 output for versatility. One of the party tricks here is its charging speed. When this device is plugged to power, this can go from zero to 80% in about 53 minutes and to 100% in 80 minutes. But if you go the solar route with a 500 watt um, power station or solar panel, you're looking at about three hours to charge this guy from zero to 100. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can customize the charging speed through the app to balance between the speed and the noise level for the fans. By the way, speaking of charging here, you have the LFP or lithium iron phosphate batteries in here, which is one of the biggest upgrades on the Delta 2 coming from the original Delta. This isn't just a fancy term. It means that a Delta 2 can handle over 3,000 charge cycles before dropping to 80% capacity. In real world terms, it means that you can use this device daily for about eight years before seeing any significant degradation in power holdup or how it stores charge. That's impressive longevity for a portable power station. For those of you who are looking to go green or prepare for off-grid situations, the Delta 2 supports solar charging up to 500 watts like I mentioned. This means you can potentially recharge it in just a few hours of good sunlight. Whether you're camping, living outdoors, and for those of you who love the RV lifestyle, recreational vehicle lifestyle, or just want a backup power solution that doesn't rely on the grid, this feature is a game changer. The Delta 2 can also connect to your smartphone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. 
allowing you to monitor and control it remotely through the EcoFlow app. The app lets you check the battery status, adjust your input and output settings, and also even change the charging speed to reduce the fan noise. You can also turn off the beep sounds from the app, which is a nice touch if you ask me. Also, if you're ever in need for support, you can reach out directly to EcoFlow through the app and they already have your product information handy. Now, as far as the tests have gone so far, I've put the Delta 2 through its spaces in various scenarios. I tested it out with the fridge here at the studio and it kept running for over seven hours before I pulled it off. I've had it outdoors also on a camping trip with the family and this really did power our laptops, our smartphones, tablets and all that. I mean, this really works as claimed. I also tested it out with high power or wattage appliances here. I connected an electric kettle to this and it also handled. There's also a feature known as X-Boost which can handle short bursts up to 2200 watts for those extra demanding devices. One thing I particularly love about this is how quiet it is. Unlike a traditional generator, you can barely hear it running even when powering multiple devices. Now, if you are enjoying this video so far, kindly hit on the like button. Also, a sub would be massively appreciated. Thank you. A feature I find super useful is the pass-through charging. You can charge this Delta 2 while simultaneously using it to power other devices. This is perfect for situations where you need to keep everything running without downtime. And remember, this extra battery here is quite easy to connect it to the main unit here. You just pop up the cable and connect to the sides of these two devices. And you have pretty much doubled the capacity, the power capacity here for longer trips and extended power outages. Now you know the features of the Delta 2, let me talk about the pros and the cons of this device. First off, I would start with the pros and these include fast charging and high output power are necessary for such a unit to be practical and this has fast charging. The second thing I can think about is the ability to expand the battery capacity by just popping up this cable from the battery pack to the main unit. Thirdly, I love the fact that this has a versatile port selection for this unit and also Considering the lithium ion phosphate battery here, this is definitely staying around for a long time. You also have the option to charge this using solar, not just the AC outlets to this box. Quiet operation of this device is something I would call a pro. And lastly, the user-friendly app interface is a plus for me. They didn't have to make that app for us. Now, going over to the cons, one of which would be the price. The price points may be high for casual users and not within reach for a lot of people. I actually wouldn't really consider this a real con. I just thought to let that out by the way. But yeah, it's on the pricey side. And remember when I said this is a quiet device? Well, the fan noise is noticeable at maximum load. It's not always as quiet all the time. These are the cons I could really think about for this device because this is really good. So who is this device, the Delta 2 for? The Delta 2 is perfect for a wide range of users. Campers and homeowners who can use this as a reliable backup power source. DIY enthusiasts like myself, as well as contractors, will really appreciate its ability to power tools on remote job sites. I have a friend who says they would love to have this device for powering equipment on location shoots. For taking the cameras and lighting outdoors without having maybe a V-mount battery, this would work. After extensive testing, I can confidently say that the EcoFlow Delta 2 is one of the most versatile and powerful portable power stations on the market right now. Its combination of high capacity, fast charging, and long lasting battery technology makes it a standout choice. Yes, it's an investment of $1,000 for the main unit and $800 for this extra battery pack, but considering its capabilities and longevity, it's one of those investments that could pay off in the long run. By the way, this EcoFlow Delta 2 is currently on sale on Jumia Nigeria right now and you can get it for up to 20% off, it might be more. I would have the current prices in the description below or probably on screen here so you can check it out. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share, also drop your questions in the comment section below. Hold up, before you go, watch this video on the channel, you'd really love this video. See you there.